Hey YouTube, today we are going to see what it's like to play RLCS as Nupo. Nupo is a player we've had on stream playing some once recently from the Middle East. A very exciting young player, 15 years old, playing on Team Cola. But when we see him on the ones field, that's not really where he's meant to be. His play style has always seemed to fit better for threes. So we're going to find out... What's it like? What does uh, Nupo do on the field in RLCS? So we're going to take a look at three different replays. Three replays that are his highest point scoring replays in all of RLCS so far this season. Including a replay that is the second highest point scoring of any player in any regional in the entire RLCS 2020 2021 season. The only other one that beat him out was one, I believe, from the fall split a long time ago by a player called Knight. But Nupo having some pretty amazing games. This one that we're watching right now, as he gets a double off the side wall, puts his team up 1-0, is a game against Veloce, which is Twiz, uh, Senzo, and SMW. Senzo, of course, dropping out of being that sub for Sandrock and, or now Falcons, and joining another top team in an attempt to maybe take over the throne or put some pressure on the throne that Falcons currently hold. We're talking about putting pressure on the throne that the Falcons currently hold. Cola may be another opportunity to do that. Cola has been playing great recently. They don't have nearly as many points in their LCS as maybe some of the other teams. That's because Cola is a little bit newer. I can't remember if they dropped any points in order to create this team, uh, but they've been playing really great since Nupo has joined in. And he's going to score another time here to tie his team back up. He, uh, this team was in the process of making it to the winner's finals, dropping only a single game. And that's something that the Falcons are doing all the time. When you watch the Falcons, nice shot from Nupo again as he puts his team up 3-2. But the, the Falcons are dominating all the time. It's not a question of whether they're going to win. It's how many games are they going to drop in the process of winning. And Cola... Luckily, at least in this run, this is from Regional 1, has looked really solid. They made it to the Grand Finals uh, against the Falcons after taking Veloce down, which is maybe the second best team uh, playing right now in the Middle East. They did end up taking him down in the sweep, I will reveal, because we are watching Nupo's best games. He had a great one in this one. And this is up 3-0, so they do finish it off here. 4-0 sweep. But as I was saying, looking like some of the best teams. And a lot of it has to do with Nupo. Specifically, people in chat told me to check this replay out because he had been dominating so much against Veloce. Nice save from Venom, though. As he gets bumped, we've actually seen him a little bit awkward in defense a couple different times when Veloce scored, but he is playing like his normal fast self, wave dashing around the map to try and gain some pressure there. He's going to be given some space. Hard touch. He's got just twiz back. This double. Oh, wow. That's actually a rare miss from Nupo. I feel like in those cases on in our ones matches, he's pretty much always hitting those. But the next couple of games that we're going to watch after this one are actually from today. Earlier today, the second regional for the Middle East region is being played. And he actually picked up a couple huge games. So he is continuing to get better and better and better and score more and more points. Right now, he's his team's last back, though. Senzo trying to chase him down. Nice cut inside the net. It's so exciting to see these young players from other regions do so well. The channel has been long, has long since been about, you know, highlighting some of the up-and-coming players. We specifically had Next Gen that highlighted players who were under 15 years old. And that was Nupo up until... I think a month ago, him and Ruas and Kaliers made up a team that were called Nameless, I believe, who were all under 15 years old. But of course, Nupo became 15 years old before the Twins. So he has hopped into the RLCS. He's not going to wait just to be able to team with Ruas and Kaliers. But it'll be very interesting to see if he does team with Ruas and Kaliers when they become of age. Because that could be a really exciting team to watch out for in the Middle East if they stick and grow together. All young, extremely talented players. Oh, Nupo's just getting taken off the map over and over and over again. But he has found himself as his team's third 
in the past couple minutes, Twiz is not going to stand a single chance there. People are going to be able to clear that off the back wall easily. That's a huge clear. But starved out. Just waiting for this corner to spawn. But only going to go up for the last second save. Just hoping his teammates could cover the net while he waited for his 100. Now he's camping out. He wants to hold on to his 3-2 lead. Big miss, man. Yupo looking so clean on the map when he's just him and one defender. But he has looked maybe a bit nervous in the attempt to finish out this full sweep. Those wave dashes on the wall are always clean. It does take him out of the play. Nice save from Ali. And now Nupo with five seconds left. Look at those wave dashes. <laughs> he refuses not to use them. Now cutting his team off. Doesn't really matter. He will end up winning this game. They end up sweeping Veloce 4-0. Moving on, I'm not sure they won another series in their process, and they actually think they lost to Veloce in the lower bracket when they got knocked down by Falcons, but he's had even bigger performances, and the second game we're about to watch is the highest, second highest scoring game ever in any Middle East regional. Here we are in the first round of the Middle East Regional 2. Cola playing the Miracle Makers, the Miracle Makers in blue. Legend. T7LM and Faisal. I don't know how to say all those names if I'm being honest, but as we talked about, huge scoring performance, huge point performance from Nupo. Historic for these regionals, and we're about to watch how it went down. He's in the Octane now, not playing the Fennec like he did in the first regional. Played Octane earlier today. Once again, finding himself on the back wall for his team. Looking to play out of the defensive half. We saw... Daniel play a lot that way. Some of the other youngsters we've watched play in the RLCS from their perspective. Aqua, not so much. Ultra aggressive from him. Nupo, nice cut in field and a double to himself, and he found the inside of the far post. What a shot from Nupo, created all by himself off of a pretty unorthodox cut to take possession. Now trying to pre jump his way through the kickoff. I say pre jump, it wasn't getting high to the sky, but he, he tried to read the 50 immediately. Get a quick touch, ended up flying past the play. Now 1-2, this time a defender is there to clean it up, even though he was probably slightly off anyways. Early challenge, two retreating teammates had faith in his ability to cover, but look, he cuts off a teammate again. This seems to be the Nupo style. He's just aggressive on the ball. Even sometimes when teammates are in the way, but look at this double. This is why he wants to put himself in a scoring position. And he does it again. What a double off the back wall. Nupo has his team up too. With a minute 30 left to go, finds himself as the final back. Nice save. And oh my goodness, no. Does this turn into a goal? No, this one gets saved. But a great interception on the clear. And now low on boost. Headed all the way back to the corner. Venom trying to break up the play. Looking to read the wall hit, but T7LM doesn't take it up there. But once again, on the back wall, nice clear late flip in order to get it over the last back. These wave dashes will win the 50. What a play from Nupo. And they felt like T7 was going to be able to get back in time. And Nupo just proved him wrong. Great use of delay to get the flip over the top of that first defender. And then 50-ing it using the wave dashes on the final one. 3-0. All of which have been scored by Nupo so far. Ball to the midfield. Nupo's not going to be able to do too much magic, I wouldn't think. Not with only 20 boosts, but he does lob it to the backboard. Problem is the Miracle Makers are able to easily clean it up. Dupo bumped into the ceiling. Please tell me this doesn't somehow turn into a shot. I don't think my heart can take it. Wide rotation for Nupo net. He loves to wave dash out of the corners. Really, really fast. Not like your conventional wave dash where people jump off the walls. Talking about basically a wall dash down from the corner. Nice save and double. That's a big miss. But Reed on the pre-jump. 
Faisal trying to tap it over the top of him. Just perfectly reads it. Now lay on the recovery. Nice save by Venom. Good use of the flip to turn what was going to be a really poor approach to the back wall into a solid one by getting all four wheels on quick. That's one of the things Nupo just does so perfect. Moving around the map, every little bit of movement is perfect to keep himself at maximum velocity. He's pre-jumping like crazy. Oh, I mean, <laughs> at this point, <laughs> seeing what's happened so far, I'm not going to be surprised if he ends up scoring one of those crazy type plays. Them to the midfield. Nupo. No way. He can't possibly score that right. No, he won't. It'll be an assist. So 100% goal participation. Three goals and an assist for Nupo so far with a minute left to go. You got to think at this point, the game is decided for his team, but he's not going to slow down. Kick off in his favor. The pinch. I could save. Another wide rotation all the way back while his teammates work the upfield. This is not spawning for him. Taking a second trip over it. Then I'm a miss. He put it at 50 high. And out for a pass. Legend just a big miss. Awkward with that um, Cola player up on the back wall. Maybe worried about getting bumped or trying to avoid them. Ends up just handing a freebie to Nupo after so much work he did for himself. He also gets handed an easy one. Gonna be able to get back for this touch up the side wall. Cola teammates once again looking to make something happen. The shot from Nupo. What a read! Oh my goodness, what a read! I mean, it's, it doesn't mean anything. The defender pulling out of the net though. But he read the roll up that corner so well. He pre-jumped it like there was never a chance it was going anywhere else. And he read it so fast. Crazy. This time, Ali was probably better off leaving the ball to Nupo. Now they're just bumping each other. They, they know they got this win. But there it is. The second highest scoring game for any player. It was 1,138 points. I'm going to watch this goal again. I just feel like that read was so fast. The late flip wave dash. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Side roll. Uh, let's watch it just real. Sorry. We're going to watch it 50% speed. Because I feel like the shot is nasty. I know it's at 25 seconds. But the air roll left into the wave dash touch. And then immediate read of where the ball is going to roll off the corner. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's filthy. That's filthy. Let's watch one more game. I think this last one is the second highest game he's had in their LCS, so we'll see how that went today. Another high scoring game from Nupo, this time against a different team. The first one was against Veloce, then Miracle Makers. Miracle Makers, maybe not as much of a top team as Veloce is. And now, Anka, I believe, hopefully, I'm sure I'm saying that nowhere near right, but I believe this is another one of the top teams that have. A good amount of points and could be trying to threaten, but I, I think Cola is a much stronger team from what I've seen. And I'll be honest, I actually haven't heard a ton of the names of these players, but I do recognize their team names, so I expect them to be a top team. But we'll see what Nupo can do. Still playing the Octane. This is the same day. This is the second series after the Miracle Makers. We watched game two of the Miracle Makers. They went on to win that in a sweep. Now we are up against Anka. What a catch from Scythe. Dupo has been making tons of solo plays. Even when we saw him get a pass earlier in these replays, it was actually just off of a double attempt that he missed and then a teammate finished off for him. For the most part, he's got faith in himself to do it all. On the back wall. Deer not really getting much of a touch. Now it's all up to Venom to get a save. Dupo, not a lot of pressure. Great. Wave dash save. Oh my goodness, he just beat the entire team all by himself. The shot. Oh my goodness, Nupo. You gotta be kidding me. I, I, I'm, we're gonna watch this one again immediately. I'm sorry. This is just nasty what he's doing. All right, it, it all starts here with the save. 
So a nice save, catch, wave dash down to put it past one, pinch on the wall to get it past that last defender. The rotating magnator doesn't matter. He gets up in the air with the air roll shot to the top right. Oh my, ugh. Filthy. Filthy, filthy, filthy. What a kickoff. Lost right to Nupo. Yeah, you should be trying to do that every time. Ceiling reset. I don't think he would have gotten it, even if it wasn't cleared away. But that's certainly something that you know Nupo has a chance at getting. So I was saying, it's probably really smart for their team to lose kickoffs into his corner the way he plays. Nice read off the wall. Had to make a quick read. Could have been out of position. What is his pre-jump? Oh, my goodness. That would have been so nasty. He's just a madman. He's a madman. We saw him be a madman with the pre-jumps in ones. Apparently, he continues to do those pre-jumps in threes. He usually can get away with them a little bit easier. But he's making them solid. Nice 50 win on the ground. His teammate setting up Venom. And Venom gets his shot saved. Not enough boost to really make a play, but a great pass. And Ali's going to finish it. Once again, it kind of looked like a play that if Nupo had the boost, he would just want to double it himself. He definitely thought about that angle, just couldn't finish it off. And instead, Ali does it for him. Now on the goal line, that would have been credited with the save that was headed to the back wall. Strong touch. Look at that flip. All of that is so crucial in being fast. Using the flip to get right back onto the wall after the single jump clear. Accelerating this ball. Can't get back to it. A quick recovery. What a read on this pass. Oh my goodness. The double is just barely wide. But boy, would that have been nasty. What is this pre-jump? That makes no sense. Nupo, <laughs> you don't make any sense. But look, you're not out of position. He's still okay. Okay, actually, they should have been exposed there. That should have been a goal. Nupo should have been scored on for... Whatever that crazy pre-jump was. Venom's got to be looking for Nupo, right? Must not have any boost. So Nupo just steals the corner and continues on. Wow, how did he kill his momentum there? Did he get a reset? He killed his momentum immediately on the ball. Dude, if you guys don't know about this player, you need to. Get ahead of the game. This guy's going to be a legend the more and more he plays in RLCS. Another pre-jump. This time doesn't connect. We saw him connect earlier. Trying to read one of those huge chipping balls in the air. He did. He's going to get demo. Wow. Dodges the demo. Gets the save. And look at those sweet, smooth recoveries. The half flip. Oh, stop, dude. It's so natural. The way he's thinking about every play. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> this is just so impressive to me. He is thinking through every play so quickly. And coming up with the, the advanced movement he needs to make the perfect shot at a speed that I haven't seen anybody else do it. The Hobuddy has done it like he is doing right now. They only have Venom on the goal line. 14 seconds left to go. Are they going to get another goal? Dupo having a ton of opportunities just barely not work out. Huge pre jump. Nobody touches the ball. He is going to do some humping high on the ceiling. His team won. Why not? Wait, no, please don't. Oh, goal. That would be so. <laughs> that would have been too much for me. That would have been too much for me. But guys, I'm so glad I went and did this review of Nupo in the RLCS because I think we've got to watch more games from him as he gets better and better games. These have been nasty. He is definitely a player to watch out for in the Middle East region. Just remember the name because we're going to be hearing it a lot.